this chapter, we'll be talking about primary headache syndromes in children. Migraine is by far the most common primary headache syndrome. I'm just going to touch on it briefly here now, and then we'll talk about it in more detail later on in the presentation. Tension headaches are different from migraine headaches in several ways. First of all, they're less common in, in children. Tension headaches are often described as a pressure sort of feeling, maybe even having what's described as a hat band sort of distribution. They can range anywhere between 30 minutes to as long as several days. They tend to have a squeezing quality to them, a pressure sort of feeling, not a throbbing quality like migraine headaches have. They can have photophobia, sensitivity to light, much like migraine headaches do, or phonophobia, sensitivity to sound, but different from migraine headaches, there's not the associated nausea and vomiting that goes along with them. They also tend to be relieved by physical activity, where migraine headaches are usually exacerbated or worsened by physical activity and exercise. A second sort of primary headache syndrome in children are cluster headaches. These are unusual headaches to have in children. In fact, I rarely make the diagnosis in children less than 10 years old, much more common in, in, in adults. These headaches are usually unilateral, one side of the face, often involving the eye, can have associated lacrimation or a tearing of the eye, a runny nose, maybe even something called a Horner syndrome, a little bit of a drooping eyelid, difference in the pupil size. These headaches, families will often describe as their child will feel like their eye is going to explode out of their head, where it's just this very unbearable, sharp, stabbing pain, tending to be shorter than a migraine headache, usually lasting less than 30, 30 minutes. Again, pretty unusual in, in kids to have this style of headache and very rare in children less than 10 years old. Another primary headache syndrome are chronic daily headache. This is defined as having more than 15 headaches in a three month period. Now, where I see this most often is in the setting of what we might call a transformed migraine, where children have typical migraine sorts of headaches, maybe as often as two or three days a week, They'll start treating those headaches with over-the-counter analgesics such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen and then the headaches will change somewhat in character, maybe still have a migraine-like sort of frontal throbbing sort of quality to them, uh, but be more chronic and present every day. When dosages of the over-the-counter analgesics are missed, there can be a rebound, a sort of dependence on no over-the-counter non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. Now, chronic daily headaches can be hard to treat. One reason is that when you miss taking the ibuprofen, acetaminophen, or naproxen, whatever over-the-counter analgesic it, it is, the pain comes back. So what do you treat it with? The second thing is that often the treatments that are used for migraine headaches don't work for chronic daily headache. Sometimes we'll have to look very carefully at some lifestyle changes or maybe even start a daily preventative medication to break this cycle of chronic daily headache. 